Welcome back, everybody. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of five items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And Dr. Lori joins us now. And Dr. Lori, before we reveal the first item, we just want to say hello and how are you today? I'm fine. I'm a little tired because Nathan Chen had me up late last night because he can't skate at 830. He has to <laughs> skate at like 12. Midnight. <laughs> so you're up late you know? watching. Oh, I, I was know. Watching late, but you, you, I'm so happy to be up early with you guys. I'm well, we early, love but. it whenever you're up early with us. <laughs> and first up, we have this necklace, beautiful necklace from Diana. Yeah, we have all gorgeous things, and thanks to our viewers for sending them in. This piece is a carved bone link. It's carved stained bone. That's what the big link is of this necklace. And then it has a silver plated locket on it. It's pretty typical of mourning jewelry from the 19th century. Um, it's a nice piece. The locket has been added on and the carved element, there's the locket. Uh, it has been added on, it's silver plated. You can see the silver plate. If you look, I always tell people what to look for. So uh, if you can see the silver plate, you can actually see the copper coming through and then it's plated silver on top of the copper. So you kind of see that reddish color. Uh, in the left hand portion of the open locket. Uh, as I said, late 19th century dates between 1885 and about 1900. You said bone. Uh, did, yeah, you did you say bone? bone? That was exactly like, what, what I wanted to ask what about. What does that mean? Like I get B O N E. So, you know, you, you think about ivory being typical. Right. Bone is another one of those materials that is actually carved. And then this one's actually been stained as well. And this is where, you know, the trolls on YouTube start to go, oh, no, it's not this. Oh, no, it's not that. I've seen a lot of these in 50,000 objects appraising them a year. These, this is bone. It's been carved. And then it's been stained. The, but there's a different material for the locket. So I don't want to confuse everybody. That's silver plated. How rare is just the bone thing? I had never heard I that know. before. Uh, I not that rare for that time period. Bone is utilized a lot, uh, natural material utilized a lot in the 19th century. And mourning jewelry, jewelry that you wear at funerals, uh, mourning jewelry, in fact, is oftentimes stained like that. Okay, mm. that was my next question. Yeah, yeah. The, the bone and the mourning jewelry I, were my questions. I don't know. I Pretty don't know. cool. You know, Pretty you hear cool. about bone china, oh, no. my, my right? My pen is totally dry. I guess looks like you didn't get the point then. <laughs> it's bone dry. <laughs> okay, well, I have a guess. All right. Do you want to just say yours since you don't have the pen right now? Or um, the marker? I'll, I'll say, you know what? I'm going to go a little high. I'm going to go 350 I said $75. Mm -hmm. $250. All right. David with the point. Holy cow, even without a pen. Oh, wait. Patty has a pen. Thank even you, without Patty. a pen. Patty. <laughs> Patty, Patty, Patty to the Patty rescue. The All right. We're <laughs> off and running. And next up is a typewriter from Evelyn. This typewriter is a portable Corona. You might have heard of Smith Corona. This is a portable Corona typewriter. Uh, this piece would be from the early 1900s. Pretty typical. Uh, Evelyn has the case as well, and it's in working condition. So this is for those, those you know, reporters on the run. <laughs> this makes me think of Tom Hanks, right? Because it's Tom, is it yep. Tom Hanks? Every time, we have the a typewriters? every time we have a typewriter, you say the same yes. thing. Well, and I, you look at me and say, <laughs> it's Tom right? Hanks, right? Is that right, Heather? <laughs> So this this oh, you guys. is uh, like comes in that carrying case, uh, and it, as far as we know, it's in full working order, right? According according to Evelyn, it works. According to okay. Evelyn, it works. Pops well, I don't up and think it works. Evelyn is lying. Start moving. Yep. I'm gonna say yes. Working working condition is important for value. I'm sorry, Heather. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Well, you're putting pressure on me, Heather. I'm what do you think? Pressure. I just don't know. It's okay. the same thing I just guessed. Okay. Hundred dollars. Feisty with her glasses on. Feisty with her glasses. I know. On. Is it? She's much feistier. <laughs> Four hours sleep and glasses. Um, no, One eighty. Got kids. <laughs> 185, David Hyde. Wow. 185. Oh. oh my gosh. So close. Nice. All right. Well. We're gonna be right back after this. <laughs>